Hey everyone, Shiver 1000 here. Today, we're gonna check the oil in the Chevy, check the tire pressure. The door's already unlocked. Okay, so, I'm just gonna pull this up to where it's a little bit more level. How do women do that? I couldn't drive with that thing behind me like that. Okay. We have to take a, a trip tomorrow. Sorry. And uh, so I wanna make sure everything's up to par. Right front tire low. I think it needs a battery in the sensor. I like to start these things up, even though they've been sitting all night. I like to start them up before I check the oil. Uh, they say you can check it after it's been sitting all night. Just pull the dipstick out, and but I like to start them up, and let them get through the, uh, you know, let all the oil get through everything. Uh, yep, right front tire low, add air, service airbag. I know what that service airbag thing is. It's underneath that seat over there. All right. Let's go ahead and check the oil. This car is filthy. But we use it, so, uh-oh. I may have to set you guys down. Nope, got it. Okay. We'll get a, get a towel in here in the garage. Still haven't got my garage cleaned out. Every time I plan on doing it, something turns up. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Let me set you down here. It's about due for another oil change. Well, it is due. It's overdue, actually. And I need to check the guy that had this before us. We're second owners, an older gentleman. He has every service record on this, so I need to see if the serv the transmission's been serviced. Now on this thing, this Traverse, uh, really all that involves is changing the transmission fluid. It doesn't have a filter that you can change. There is a filter in it, but you gotta pretty much rebuild the transmission to change that. I don't know why. They did that like that, but they did, and there's nothing I can do about it. Let's see here. What are we looking like? Uh, always go on the low side. If one side, if one side of the stick is higher than the other, always look at the, always take the low side reading. So I could use a quart. Yeah, it's about one quart low. It's not bad because I haven't had to add any since I changed oil right after we got this thing. So, all right. Now, I got this, uh, I want to try something neat. I got this old thing that belonged to her dad, this tire pressure gauge. And I don't even know if it works. But it's pretty neat. I thought I'd give it a try. So, let's go around here. I'll check this one. I don't know what that noise is. Okay. Now let me get a a regular one that I know is good and we'll check and see how just got one of these check and see how close it is uh, this one's reading 30 pound so it is low uh, and this one 
we're eating about 28. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drag the air hose out here. I meant to have it out. Let me get the air hose out. We'll put some air in that tire. <clears throat> what the hell is that thing? Hmm, all right. Let me check the air in the tire. I mean, let me get my air hose out and I'll kick it back on and I'll tell you what we're doing. All right, these take 44 pounds, so we're gonna put 40, I'm gonna put 42 in them. The gauge, the, uh, it doesn't like when you do that because it'll tell you you're low on pressure. There we go. About 36. This is Accu gauge on it. It's not very accurate because it's saying 30 now. I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> this one you gotta kinda fiddle with. So, monkey's got to have a procedure done tomorrow. 40. What this one's reading? This one's still reading 30, like 31. So, it must not be that accurate. <laughs> um, she's got to have a procedure on her neck from the car crash she was in. 41 let's go they're 42 all right so hang on guys okay we're at the back now it's low too it's about it was reading like 34 but we've had another cold spell. And uh, it play hell on your tires. You lose air when you get cold. Forty one. So, monkey's got to go to Orlando, and uh, that air smelled funky. There's 42, and uh, have this procedure done, and she's getting it done Thursday, but uh, they won't give you a time. They said until like two days before, while well, they called just a little bit ago to go over some things with her, but they still didn't give us a time. So we have to, since we're almost two hours away, about an hour and 40 minutes, we're gonna have to get a room for two nights. So we're gonna stay tomorrow night and then she'll have her surgery on Thursday which our hotel room is only five minutes from where the procedure is being done so she'll have that done on Thursday and we'll come back on Friday yeah they're all about 10 pounds low but the monitor inside the vehicle was only telling me the right front was low. 
40. There we go. So, that's what we're going to be doing. But it's a pretty simple procedure. They got to put a disc in her neck. And it's right, right under here. So what they do is in one of the creases there, they'll make a little incision about an inch. And they'll pull out whatever's bad and they'll put a, a plastic or whatever it is inside there. And they've had, you know, a really good success rate with doing that. And he said, Within a couple days, you'll feel no pain. He said, possibly the next day, you'll be sore. He said, she'll be a little sore, you know, from the incision. She may talk funny for a day or two, but he said, you know, even probably as early as the day after the procedure, she'll be able to, uh, she won't be experiencing any pain anymore. So, it's like a, $26,000 procedure. Wow, this one's reading really low. It's 25. So, that's what we gotta do. So, I'll do some filming for you. I won't be able to film that, of course. I'll be outside because I can either, you know, I mean, wait in the waiting room. Or I can wait in the car, which we're going to bring Bruno, so I'll just wait in the car. So either, either way, I'm still going to be there, you know. I can't, you know, I won't be leaving or anything like that. I got to get... A new one of these. I'm gonna get one of them digital ones that you just plug onto there and shoots the air in. You can set it to whatever you want. 40. I've got one. It doesn't have a preset, but I've got one, but it's like four pounds off and I can't remember if it's high or low. There's 42. Alright. Now let me put these things up and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I added a little oil to it. This is still dirty from right after we got it. We took it out to the forest and went through that big mud, that big mud pit. Water came up over the hood. Um, so okay, it needs detailed. All right, so that thing's ready to go. But anyway, that's what she's doing. She's gonna have have to have that procedure. So, you know. Give a thumbs up to her so she knows you she's got your guys' support. It's really simple. She's only gonna be under for 30 minutes. The procedure takes around 20 minutes. Um, but she's real nervous about going under, so you know. <laughs> so she's a, but she's had a hysterectomy, so that's a that's kind of a big thing, and she went through that just fine, so I think she'll be alright. And uh so yeah, I think uh, I think she'll do fine, and we'll be back on Friday. Uh, if I can, I'll upload something for you guys between now and then. Just wanted to let you know what was going on. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, please drop down, give her a big thumbs up for support. I appreciate that. She'll appreciate it. That's so many trees, and <laughs> I can never get the right light. We'll see you guys in the next one. Just quick log update, I guess. Whatever. We'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. And enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe, everyone. Well, the low air pressure thing went off, so that's good. Like I said, I know what that surface airbag light is. There's a plug down underneath that front seat. You got to wiggle it every once in a while, and that'll go out. These two are just because the seat belt's not fastened and that's that service airbag thing that's for that so
Car's been running good. Not sure how many miles is on it. Gotta push some buttons over here to bring up the miles. All right, guys. See ya.